I'm give you three examples, different conditions. So we have three numbers, 10, 20, 30. What is the mean? 20. 5, 20, 35, what is the mean? 20. 1, 20, 35, what is the mean? 20. So if in all the three cases, my mean is 20, but here it's very visible for me that there is very variation in the third case, 1, 39 and 20. How we can represent the 1 with 20? In first case, it is fine. Little bit we can accept that. But in third case, it's never possible. So it means that mean itself is not sufficient. Okay. And oh, one more thing. See, so this mean median mode, basically we call the measure of central tendency. The estimation is basically what? The measure of central tendency. Okay. So if the question will, they will use the word measure of central tendency. Which one is the major of central tendency? So don't means don't oh I don't know that. Major of central tendency is basically the these mean median mode. Okay. So now see in this example, if we will see mean is 20, mean is 20, mean is 20. In that case, one thing is very clear that mean, if I will say mean. So if someone will have the mean is 20, they will they will have the same idea. For the if if I will say, but I'm not showing you the data, I'm just showing you the if there is a three group of people. The for first group mean is 20, for the second group, mean is 20, for the third group, mean is 20. You will get an idea, okay. All the group are almost same. That, that is the thing. Normally you will think for that. So, but if we have if you will see here the data. There is a huge difference on that. So it means that there is something else we want. And what that basically we want. The, what is the problem here? The problem here we, will, we can see is the distance from the mean. Because the mean is your average value. So average value is going to represent all the data set. So how the value is away from the mean, if you will get this idea, then okay, you can you are very easily identify that okay, case three is basically not that appropriate. It's how it is different from the case one and two. Okay. That we call the measure of dispersion. Means how you are away from the mean. So normally with the mean, we present a standard deviation. That is standard deviation is this. Huh? We just present the standard deviation. And uh, you are asking something. No? So the standard deviation is basically come from this, okay, the major of dispersion. So how you are away from the mean, that become very important for us now. And it's a very simple concept, okay. Means what I said, the problem is the solution, okay. If I... Ms. Bhavna, could you please mute yourself? There is disturbance. Yes, so whenever you have any question, then just unmute and ask. Okay, otherwise it's better that everyone mutes yourself. Okay. So the measure of dispersion is basically means how far you are from the mean. Because mean we are going to present. Okay. And if I'm interested that how far I am from mean, so what I can do? I'm just uh, take the difference. Okay. See, I what I can if if in this example if the mean is thirteen, so what I can do I will just take the difference from each value, means how the value is deviated from the mean. Okay, but if if in this example you can just see if if I will add up means you can take the average of this deviation. So if you will add up, there is also possibility that after adding this, it becomes zero. Here also it becomes zero. So you will say there is no deviation. So again, there is a problem. Now what is the problem? The problem is basically error is error. 
if you if i will say your weighing machine give plus 5 value or if i will say your weighing machine is give minus 5 value error is 5 it is plus or minus but the error is 5 so whatever the true value we are away 5 unit from that so error is not a direction thing error is the quantity basically okay so what we can do you just square this difference so that you will make it positive and then take the root of that that is called the standard deviation okay so this is basically what we subtract each value from the mean square it take the average and root it that is called a standard deviation and if you will give the standard deviation also along with the mean then you are able to understand what is the estimate and how that estimate is deviated from your value but we never ask what is your standard deviation of the percentage of the marks in 10th is anyone ask any time any only there is a, how how what is your percentage but if you are a statistician you can ask what is the percentage and what is the standard deviation also <laughs> okay so then the range it's very simple thing okay it's just the uh, maximum and minimum value this is small concept but maybe if for the small questions if they will ask uh, and you will make error so you don't we don't want that error okay mm. again i'm skipping all this see here the no mode so no mode is also an possibility okay if none are repeated everyone is one time only so it means basically there is no mode 